So I believe let's make it very interactive. What is the importance of an intact posterior capsule? What is the importance of an intact posterior capsule? Anyone from audience? Anyone? What is the importance of an intact posterior capsule? Why did we switch from intracapsular to post extracapsular and then to pico vesification? We needed an intact posterior capsule. Intact, Part intact of posterior capsule is very important for the resident of the yes. if, you, if, you, if there is any rent in yes. the posterior capsule, that means you are uh, going for the adverse to the retinal. Absolutely. Capsule. Then after leaving a very nice posterior capsule and in the bag IOL, yes. why should we do a hole in the posterior capsule? That is my talk. You should not do a yak capsulotomy of the posterior capsule, but you should rather go ahead and fish out the pearls from the bag. That is my talk today. One minute. Okay. <coughs> So uh, uh, this method I've been advocating since now about 10 years, somehow not very popular. It is a bit complex and it is very difficult also sometimes to convince the patient that with a yak capsulotomy, why should we undergo a complete surgery? But well, it all started with certain very specific patients like a high myope, a patient having a history of RD or a CME in the other eye. So on all these patients, we thought it is very, very dangerous to do a posterior capsulotomy. And so we thought of why not go ahead and clean the posterior capsule like we did uh, during the surgery. Do you want to say that during the ins uh, IOL insertion, that at that time also you can go for the posterior capsule? No, no, I'm, I'm talking about posterior capsule. Uh, <coughs> This is the Elshnik's pulse, which we want to remove post-surgery. So this is a patient, right, who is presenting to you. In fact, this is a femto uh, cataract patient, a young gentleman from the very famous Adani group who is a vice president there. He's only 40 and a high myope and uh, only one-eyed patient. So I didn't want to actually do a posterior capsulotomy. And as you can see, in spite of a very nicely covered posterior capsule all along the IUL, we need to <coughs> get a cleavage, right? And that is what I'm trying to do. Now, after I <coughs> get, hold, sorry, <coughs> get hold of this cleavage, I'm going to try and create some space beneath the IUL. And then we are actually trying to manually remove all the ethnic pulse from the equator as well as from the posterior capsule. Uh, in this high magnification, it does look a bit scary, but trust me, it is not at all scary. You can very easily do it. See, you have to understand, why did the posterior capsular opacification happen? That because there was some space behind the IOL, right? So there was already a potential space behind the IOL, so why not exploit it, right? And so this is what I've uh, succeeded. And uh, this is a manual aspiration, very simple. It's a 27 gauge cannula, a two cc syringe. Uh, the chamber is filled with viscoelastic. So you just need to keep on aspirating. Yes, you might need to replenish the uh, entire chamber with more viscoelastic. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, but <coughs> Patna cold has really caught me on. <laughs> water yeah. This is a water <coughs> No, no, I'm okay. Uh, yes. <coughs> yes, it is, it takes me as long as time as a post, as a uh, cataract surgery, probably sometimes even more because we have to be very careful. But the result, the end of the surgery is going to be so satisfying that it is worth it. And when I say worth it, it is worth it in terms of money also. For a yak capsulotomy, you get 3,000 rupees, 4,000 rupees. For this, we charge 25,000 rupees, and the MediClaim also gives it to you. This is my good you mind happening. <laughs> 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 and I might not want to tell you, but we have done sometimes even three times. There is a, a high myopic patient. Uh, she was also in her 40s, and now she's about 51, and we have done three times, and she's also very happy. Somehow she knows that she would she should not go for a hole in the posterior capsule. 
I will just try to uh, forward it a bit. Just look at the, the glow on the Pushti capsule. And the vision of these patients is on day one so crisp that they, are, they say that, okay, they have got their vision back. I'll tell you what, whenever you do a posterior capsulotomy with a YAG reserve, there is always a chance that you might pick the lens, right? That is always there, especially in a multifocal lens, right? There is a chance <coughs> that you might have some liquid in those acidic pulse. And this liquid sometimes causes uh, inflammatory reaction in the chamber. And of course, CME and all those stuff is always there. So uh, vis -a vis this is an intraocular surgery. I would advise only if you're very confident and very scrupulous in your uh, 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 operative um, SOPs, then only you perform this kind of a procedure and only after a lot of uh, deliberation. <coughs> so I believe this is, this is the end result of this. Uh, this was an unedited video. So I probably, no, this is an edited one. This takes about 15 to 17 minutes. And just look at the result. Right? So let me let me show you the pre-operative one, and this is the post-operative. Right? So this is the pre-operative, and you also the post-operative. I I believe it is definitely worth it. Right? Convinced? Okay. I'll show you a few more examples and then conclude. Uh, can I have the other one, please? How do I get the other one? Yeah, I, I have it here. I have it here. <coughs> okay, Karnak. VL6. Okay. Okay. So that is huh? Okay, okay so, so this is also another uh, doctor yes, in whom we did. Here I'm trying to show you all this the steps. I'm trying, see, just look at this. The light. And from this, you can go ahead and reach here. So uh, this is my contention, and I believe everybody should be uh, trying to opt for this uh, because it ultimately gives you a very satisfied patient. I'm open for any questions. Thank you. Sir, <coughs> there are lots of beginners are there. What is yeah. your tip or guidance for them to start it? Or start what the uh, uh, complications you face at early time of your skill uh, so that we do not do this, repeat the same? Yes. So the biggest complication is that you might tear the posterior capsule. But that is what you are ultimately going to if you have done a posterior capsule atomy. And the second one is that, though it has never happened, but theoretically it can happen that you might dislocate the lens if you are not very gentle. But there is always an, the third and the most and always there is endophthalmitis or an inflammation. So these are the things which can happen in such patients. Uh, touch wood, uh, we have uh, punctured the posterior capsule only once. Uh, otherwise, uh, no, no other untoward incidents in this this many 10, ten years, 11 years. Lovely. Sir, how you, uh, can you do it in a toric cases? All cases. So in fact, how I, I have, I have about it? 100 videos with me. My laptop did not work. Others I would have showed you the multifocal lenses, the toric lenses, everything can be done. Uh, we have to understand one thing that we have a lot of backlog of patients whom were, who were operated before 10 or 12 or 15 years and who all are coming back. And at that time, we did not have that knowledge of a good posterior capsule axis, a good anterior capsule axis sitting on the lens, the lens mitt and all that stuff. I have a lot of array lenses. If you remember, the array were the first multifocal lenses, lenses in our country. And those patients are so happy because a lot of them had a yard pitting on the lens. And all these patients, when they have a pitting on the lens, they actually are going to be not unhappy for life. So. Yes, you have to weigh the pros and cons, but uh, for in my hands, this is a very regular surgery. We do it probably twice a week. Dr. Radharaman, yes. Yes. Uh, 
do you have any uh, difference in CME in post EAG and post, uh, say, suppose you are taking it for multiple surgery, <coughs> that also increases the chances of CME, in uh, cases, yes. especially in cases of diabetic uh, cases? Yes, but especially not with the po intact post capsule. This happens when you have a rent in the post capsule. This does not usually happen. In fact, we have none. None of our patients have ever got a post CME or an end of or an inflammation. Luckily, uh, the eye is very forgiving, you may say. It has already been sensitized once with the surgery and the IOL, and it does not react again. I am, I am particularly asking about the diabetic. Uh, yes, sir. All, all these patients, all yeah. kinds of patients. Like I said, first few years we were taking only high myops in patients who had a history of RD in the other eye or some kind of a posterior segment complication in the other eye. And then now we have started taking, uh, going ahead with almost all routine patients also. So we gave them a choice. Non and younger patients, younger patients definitely we go for a... Non-dilating people also? Ah, uh, no, I have not done any in non-dilating people. No, I have not done that. Because uh, trying to touch the iris will add up to the inflammation. Uh, somehow it has... Uh, frankly, I have never encountered a patient with a non-dilating. So I will have to keep an eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello. Hello, suppose uh, you, uh, in <coughs> any case, you are done PI, you YAG laser. Yes. And do you think that uh, YAG laser is creating a lot of problems, uh, even if the lens is in place? Uh, initially, when we started this concept, there were a lot of literature on this, but somehow now people have understood that we have to do a very low energy, small YAG capsulotomy, mm -hmm. and so probably it might not be. But the kind of vision these patients have, because see, they have a pinhole vision after a posterior capsulotomy. You cannot do a big posterior capsulotomy, right? Yes. If you do a big posterior capsulotomy, you're going to end up in trouble. So the vision of a pinhole vision, uh, the p vision through a pinhole on the posterior capsule versus this kind of a capsule is always uh, inferior. No, no. That, is there any study that is uh, no. that is that is convincing that your process is better than the than the? Uh, uh, no, no. Not control? many people are doing it, and that's why there is no study. No, I, is I there any that study that any advantage, better advantage than the? Uh, no, no, no. Like I said, not many people are doing it. I'm, I'm trying to group in more people and then, yes, please. Yeah, if, if, if there is no uh, study supporting this, if any uh, complication will end up there, any? Yes, you have to take a risk. Every, every surgery is a risk. But like I said, you have to be very, very uh, particular in your SOPs about uh, post preoperative sterilization, <laughs> your technique, your skill, and convince the patient. And like I said, these patients, say for example, a myopic patient, he's always going to, he or she's going to have a huge space beneath the uh, IOL. So it becomes very easy to go and maneuver beneath the IOL. But yes, a complication is always there. How to handle the legal complication? <coughs> no, no, I don't, think, I don't think there is any legal issue to a doctor doing any uh, procedure, which, which, and nobody can say that this is wrong. No, criticism could be there, but nobody can say that this is a wrong procedure. Uh, there are a few surgeons doing it, but yes, we are in the minority. But main advantage is economy. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and another that thing was is... The end of the, that, that was the end of the talk then. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing is, uh, like, uh, uh, what do you advise to prevent it, actually, more of this thing? During your cataract <laughs> surgery, do you take any extra effort? Other than uh, no, other? no, no, I don't think. A lot of, lot of different methods were shown of uh, irrigating the equator, uh, having a perfect rexis that is always there. Having a compatible material and lens design is always there. But I don't think any of these polishings and etc. cetera mattered uh, in the post capsule okay. classification. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for...